Welcome guys, a new weapon is out on the live servers. It's a 556 designated marksman rifle, which is exclusive to Sanog, where it replaces the Mini 14. Initially, I was sad to see the Mini replaced, however, after playing with the QBU, I have to say that I might just have gotten a new favorite DMR. This weapon is a dream when fast clicking and can erase enemies in an extremely effective way. The QBU has a base damage of 48, which is 2 higher than the Mini 14 and 5 lower than the SKS. This means that you require 2 headshots to kill a player regardless of the helmet type the player is wearing. You need 3 shots to kill a level 1 vest, 4 shots to kill a level 2 and 5 shots to kill a level 3. The initial bullet velocity is identical to the Mini 14 at an insane 990 meters per second. However, due to the effects of drag programmed into the ballistics of PUBG, the average bullet velocity will be just over 800 meters per second on a 300 meter shot, still insanely high. This bullet velocity means that on a map like Sanog that primarily has short distances, you will barely ever feel any bullet drop, as you can see from this 300 meter kill. The handling of the QBU reminds me of the old Mini 14 before it got nerfed. It basically feels like an M16 on steroids due to having 5 more damage per shot and an extreme bullet velocity. It can definitely be used while standing and crouch, but when prone, things can get a bit wild. The QBU has a total of 3 attachment slots, a sight or scope, a muzzle attachment and a magazine attachment. A compensator is an extremely good attachment for the QBU, as it significantly benefits the handling making fast tapping easier. However, the more I played with the QBU, the more I understood that the suppressor had to be the design choice for the weapon. Since the weapon encourages prone shooting, the suppressor is extremely effective due to completely removing the flash of the weapon while significantly reducing the noise it makes, which is kinda helpful since you might lie there completely prone. And to top it all off, I think the sound of the QBU suppressed is one of the most satisfying suppressed sounds in the game, ranking closely to the sound of the suppressed M24. The QBU can definitely be used as a short to medium weapon using a red dot or holographic sight. This is where it feels like an M16 with higher bullet velocity and damage. It is especially at the close range encounters that you really need to click fast in order to do well when playing with a weapon like this. However, while this is definitely viable and a lot of fun to do, a fully automatic weapon will provide the best synergy with the QBU making close range self-defense easier to handle. When shooting the QBU while standing, you should be a bit careful not to click too quickly due to the high recoil. It helps when you crouch, but can still be very challenging to control if you click a bit too quickly like I did here. But when you go prone, magic happens. You can potentially fast click with almost no recoil at an incredible rate. And if you're fast enough, you can shoot as quickly as an AKM in full auto. And this is really where the QBU shines. Assassinating enemies like this is extremely satisfying and there is basically nothing your enemy can do. Nowhere to run and nowhere to hide. Going prone with the QBU can however be a problem as you make yourself an easy target. When you prone you can't lean and you can barely move, thereby making you a headshot magnet. This is why it's a good idea to get up quickly after you find your initial volley of shots and get ready to defend yourself. Oh and by the way, a bonus tip here is to not go prone when a vehicle is driving towards you. Overall, the QBU feels like a significant upgrade when compared to the Mini 14, 
I feel like it's the most versatile DMR next after the airdrop exclusive MK14. It is in fact so versatile that a double QBU loadout gets my stamp of approval as a viable build to play an entire round. Finally, I want you to pay good attention to how satisfying it feels to kill enemies with this weapon. Man, I love this weapon. That's all I had for you guys in this video. I hope you found it helpful and if you did, subscribe to the channel to stay updated on future content. I will be going to PTI Berlin in the coming week, so make sure to drop by and say hi if you see me there. And I'll see you guys next time.